Now, depending on how they get, how much they get seen, I might start doing questions of the week, or just questions. Well, this is going to be the first one. Question number one. What would you do? Well, school shootings. What would you do if you were either driven by a school, a little school zone, which means you're most likely going slow, and these are for the people who live in victim zones, or as most people like to call them, gun-free zones in their state. I'm in Nevada. Fortunately, all schools are gun-free zones, all public schools anyways. Now, whether you are slowly passing one, or you are there to pick up your child. Now, this is for the people who actually carry all the time, like I do. Say you were, let's go with picking up your child from school. So you stop, you're staring at the school waiting off, pro off the property because you have a gun. You see somebody getting out of the vehicle. You don't really pay much attention until that you notice what they're wearing. They have some kind of outfit on that you normally see in shootings, or they don't. But you see a rifle. So you may be a gun holster on the other side. And the rifle's not slung over them. It's actually in their hands, like they're getting ready to use it. And they start walking towards the school. Now, would you, as the anti-gun people would want you to do, stay out and call the cops and don't make the situation worse. Basically saying they want you to stay out, call the cops, and the guy kill people so they have nothing to use against you. Or, would you sh grab your gun and go after the guy before you had a chance to kill anybody? Or would you call the cops and just leave the phone on and chase after the guy so they can hear what's going on? I'm just curious, what would you do in that situation? I'm pretty, I'm, I'm very well of what I would do. Now, we can't guarantee what we do, or what we would definitely do once that actually happens, but we can say what we believe we would do. So, even though I don't have too many subscribers yet, the ones I do have, give me an idea what you, what you believe you would do, no matter what the law is in your area. Would you go in there and risk going to jail because you violated a law? The fact you cannot bring your firearm, or would you, say, would you say screw it and just go? Knowing there's no way in hell they would want to put you in jail over this shit. Or would you be a gun carrier too afraid to go to jail, call the cops, and hope like hell they get there in time? Like I said, I know what I would do, but please, tell me what you would do. Also, on a side note... I do have ways you can donate to my channel. That way my videos start to look like less like crap. That way I can possibly get better equipment. You can either use PayPal or the donate button. Either way, you don't have to, but support your local gun, YouTube gun channels. Great way to start. Only we can end unarmed victim zones.